This is Binge Pipe's menu screen. It's all good, but we really went to town on the settings button. Binge Pipe may not be your traditional streaming service, but we're definitely streaming service adjacent. The roguish outsider that doesn't play by the rules. The undisciplined bad boy that maybe, just maybe, you can change. Apple, Fork, Highway, Telephone, Democracy, Binge Pipe. We're just another thing. Don't worry about it. Here's a look at just some of the quality programming Binge Pipe has to offer. Truffles and tea cakes. Tea cakes and truffles. I love them exactly the same. If you asked me to pick, I'd say that's a trick because I love them exactly the same. Oh! So everyone has disappeared? More like half the population? Of Earth? That we know of, yes. But everything is different now because we're, we're in space? Unclear. Uh, is this a flashback? Also unclear. Uh, but we definitely have to defuse this bomb, right? That part seems obvious. I mean, I'm just making sure we're on the same page here. This fall on the exposition. And wait, are we related? Unclear. Damn it. Binge Pipe cares about our customers. So we contacted your parents to learn your likes, dislikes, and topics we should avoid when we come over for dinner next weekend. Truffles and tea cakes, teakles and truff truffs, they are equivalent treats. If you asked me to choose, I'd say, oh, that's a muse, because they are precisely equal to me. Sorry, what was the question? Coming soon. A new blockbuster film by Binge Pipe. We've got four hours before the time portal closes. Then there's just enough time to solve the riddle. A completely original film. We made this. The dinosaurs are loose. And they can fly. It certainly wasn't made for cinematic release. Tested poorly. And now they're looking for somewhere to dump it. The lava, it's... it's intelligent. Maybe I can help. King George the Third. This is something we wanted to do. Then let me say it, in rap. Drop the beat, King George. Coming soon, obligation. This is taking longer than expected. Just kidding. We prepare for everything. Everything. Looking to become a professional live streamer? It's never been easier thanks to the Binge Pipe Streamer Program. Just listen to these satisfied streamers. I couldn't believe how easy it was to stream with Binge Pipe. It was like super Binge Pipe feels hashtag blessed to bring you You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, we won't be ignored. <laughs> I'm Cookie Masterson. Thank you for inviting me to hang out with you. Wait, that's what this is, right? Well, well, well. It's just you, me, and the 10 gallons of potato salad I'm gonna eat while asking you questions. Okay, here's looking at you. Time for question one. First up. If you hate people, every room can feel like an escape room. You ever done one of those escape rooms? You know, where you get locked in a room with people and you have to solve a bunch of puzzles to get out? And no, I'm not talking about high school.
What's the most useful thing to scream while participating in an escape room that takes place in a tack room? Look under the doilies. Check by the swords. Feel inside the... Okay, what'd you pick? If you pick this answer hoping to hear a toilet flush sound, you are in luck. <laughs> this was the one. A tack room is attached to a horse stable and is used to store saddles. As opposed to the tact room, which is where you take the horses to have direct and sensitive conversations with them. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Take a good look at The Revolution Will Be Delicious. If the bakers on the Netflix show nailed it were challenged to recreate a Martin Luther inspired cake, which cake would they be copying? A 12 layer cake with a nail in it, a 60 layer cake with a nail in it, a 95 layer cake with a nail in it, or a 120 layer cake with a nail in it. And how'd we do? Yeah, way to be wrong. And here's where the money is. Martin Luther was well known for his 95 theses, thought to have been nailed on the door of a church and became the foundation of the Protestant Reformation. 95 Layers was also the plotline for Lost. Why do we do it with three? Let's try... Gotta avoid them all and prepare for trouble because it's a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven alarming sounding descriptions. And for each, I want you to tell me if I'm talking about a Pokemon or a real animal you can find in Australia today. Answer quick, you'll only have a few seconds to choose between a Pokemon or an Australian animal. Here it comes. A tiny dragon covered in thorns. A bird that channels electric. Paralyzing octopus covered in ring. A gliding rodent with thumbs. A six foot tall dog you can ride. A duck billed creature with poisonous feet. A cat that mimics human speech. It would be really sad if you bragged about this. Let's get on with it, shall we? Try this on for size. Eaves drop, stop, and roll. I've got to share this weird conversation I overheard this morning. Ayo, OA, she won a Nobel Prize? Like you said, they're great. So, who dis? Tony the Tiger talking to Tony Danza about Tony Morrison. Tony Danza talking to Tony Morrison about Tony the Tiger. Tony Morrison talking to Tony the Tiger about Tony Danza. Or Tony Danza talking to Tony the Tiger about Tony Morrison. So what'd you pick? It shouldn't be this hard. That's Danza's catchphrase from Who's the Boss, talking about Nobel Prize winning author Morrison, referencing the serial mascot slogan. You overhear the weirdest conversations at the Y. How about this one? For the true 90s kids. What's a sure sign that you were a 90s kid? An 1890s kid, that is. You blew your allowance on O. Henry bars. Your first Christmas gift was a package of milk duds. You were the first kid on your block with bit of hunt. Hope you like what you picked. I'm sure you meant well. Oh, look at this. Oh, Henry bars, milk duds, and bit of honey were all invented in the 1920s. Candy corn, however, was introduced in the 1880s. Therefore, it's the only candy true 1890s kids would have begged their parents for. But now millennials are killing the bland candy industry. Say goodbye to round one. Hope you weren't expecting a halftime show. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled. In case you care about things like that. Okay, back at it. Six trombones is not a parade. I call this one all the president's antacids. 
Suppose a U.S. president was forced to share a medicine cabinet with all their cabinet members. What would you not find in there? The vice president's antifungal powder, the press secretary's hemorrhoid cream, the attorney general's throat lozenges, or the sec- Okay, let's take a look. The press secretary is not an official cabinet position, so they'd be keeping their hemorrhoid cream elsewhere. But it's not like they could make some room in there. Does the Secretary of Agriculture really need that many jars of Vicks VapoRub? Hey, question! At Binge Pipe, we value your needs. Would you like a question with nothing to hide or a question with an ulterior motive? Pick your poison. You have chosen. Las pears should mocha de moi. Set. Here's one for you. A question with an ulterior motive. Hey, so just hypothetically, if anybody were to ask where I was on November 24th, 1971, what would you say? Wasn't that the day the Lindbergh baby was kidnapped? Wasn't that the day D.B. Cooper hijacked a plane? Wasn't that the day the Black Dahlia was found? Or Cookie was with me the whole... I love this part. Oh yeah, I guess the criminal known as D.B. Cooper hijacked a plane and stole $200,000 on November 24th, 1971, and then vanished without a trace. Weird. Not that I was trying to get an alibi from you or anything, I'm, I'm just saying maybe some of this old soggy money just happens to find its way to your score. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. There is no hiding from thanks grieving. What would someone with syngenesophobia most likely say at Thanksgiving? Ah, turkey! Ah, pie! Ah, cranberries! Or, ah, my parents! Let's see how that shook out. No, this is what you scream when you see the Cranberries sing Salvation at the MTV Music Awards in 1996. <laughs> is what you had in mind? Syngenesophobia is the fear of relatives. Some people are gluten intolerant, others are grandpa intolerant. Na, 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 na. Behold. Octopus Coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? Octopus Coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? It's a monster. Paired with Kanye in Madonna's song, Illuminati. Octopus Coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? Hope you like what you picked. <laughs> you should have known. The lyrics to Madonna's Illuminati actually begin by saying the Illuminati isn't Queen Elizabeth or Kanye. But Queen Elizabeth and Kanye West are both in my top five fashion icons list. It's time for The Legend of Zelda's Epidural. Say there were a video game in which the player's goal was to successfully go through labor. What instructions would pop up on the third stage of the game? Press B to push the baby's head out, repeatedly tap X to dilate the cervix, hold down the right shoulder button to expel the placenta, or press A and B together to cut the... I love this part. Well, it's come to this. The placenta is expelled during the third stage of labor. Also, this game would cost $37,000. It's time. Well, don't mind me then. Here's your clue. You're a monster. Not to put a label on it, but we're putting monster labels on it. Good luck.
That's all she wrote. The prophecy said there would only be one, but I never expected it to be you. Maybe next time you'll have a more impressive score to go along with your victory. Until then... Binge Pipes menu screen offers everything you need to Some critics say Binge Pipe isn't a real streaming service, it's just a framing device for a video game. These critics are entitled to their opinions and their privacy. So don't go looking for them. <laughs> They're fine. Binge Pipe knows what you want to watch even when you can't articulate it. What do I like to watch? Um, dumb. Smack water jack. Plumps darts in a jar? Petu petunias and corn. I, I, I don't know. Why am I having so much trouble? Drugged. We've been drugged. Binge Pipe. Prepare your body for enjoyment with this upcoming Binge Pipe programming. Thank you. You know, people ask me all the time, what is the first step to becoming an entrepreneur? And my answer is simple. Start following 90,000 people on Twitter. I've made a lot of money in my life. And I've made it all in the last 24 hours. I can show you how. Objection. Your Honor, this witness is clearly just a tugboat in a trench coat. If you don't love me, I'm going to war. Okay, see you when you get back. Bye. Binge Pipe is ignoring our lawyers and presenting You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, here today, gone tomorrow. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and I just got hungry, but now I don't have time to get a snack. Here's a fact. This is a good-looking crew. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Start game. Time for question one. First question. A totally relatable childhood memory. If you're playing football in the backyard and your dad yells, Go deep! Where's the best place you could run to impress him? Death Valley, the Malloy Deep, the Caspian Depression, or Mariana's Trench? And how'd we do? The Mariana Trench is the deepest spot on the planet at over 36,000 feet below sea level. Your dad better have a really good arm. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And now, stuck together pages of greatness. Say you visit a luxury spa that plays recordings of classic literature while you're being pampered. If you want your massage to have a happy ending, what is your best bet? Hot Stone and Wuthering Heights, Swedish with Anna Karenina, Shiatsu and The Great Gatsby, or Deep Tissue and Jane Eyre. So what'd you pick? <laughs> Here's what a right answer looks like. At the end of Jane Eyre, she marries her true love, Mr. Rochester. I mean, sure, that's after Rochester's first wife sets fire to his house and jumps off the roof, but this was 1847, so you, you take what you can get. Why do we do it with three? Here's one I like to call, ask your doctor if toys are right for you. Hey, over here. Hello? Now that I have your attention, it's time for a dis or dat. Dis or dat? 
I'm going to read off seven names, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a brand of fidget spinners or a doctor-prescribed ADHD medication. Think fast. You'll only get a few seconds to pick between a fidget spinner or an ADHD drug. And you're all doing this together, so focus up. Ready? Good. Set Pro. The majority of you are just average, but player two, you really boned up that dis or dat. Actions have been taken to ensure you have a better playing experience. Oh, that means it's screw time. That's right, Cookie. Use the screw Fine, we'll skip it. <laughs> Happy to engage with you. Feast your eyes upon this. You can't curse in heaven. If Kristen Bell's character from the sitcom The Good Place read the Pulitzer Prize winning novel The Good Earth, how would she likely describe it? It's about forking Chinese farmers. It's some bullshit set on a rocket ship. It follows an ash hole through the American Revolution. Or the French ghost is a total bench. What'd you guys pick? You're going to the bad place. This would've worked. Pearl S. Buck's 1931 novel, The Good Earth, takes place in turn-of-the-century China. <laughs> Introducing Horsing Around. Imagine Sports Center were Sports Centaur. And, uh, they, they were all, all the centaurs, all the sportscasters. Ugh, this is too much setup. Just tell me which of these punchlines contains a portmanteau. The Colts are a shoe in She sells saddles on the sidelines. Will the Broncos win? Nay! Or more like Eli Manhorse. Okay, let's take a look. Correct your mistakes in the future. Here's what you meant to pick. A portmanteau blends two words or titles together, a la Eli Manning and Man Horse. And if you cross Peyton Manning with a mule, you get something, something. He's, he's old. Round one is over. Here's who you have to destroy. Currently, player one is in the lead. Player two, on the other hand, there's a soft spot on every apple. It's you. The data we have acquired demonstrates a need for an additional screw. And remember, round two screws are more powerful, and they'll net you more cash for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't be shy about using that thing. The rest of you better answer fast before you get screwed. Oh, and did I mention all the money's doubled in round two? It's like the first round didn't even matter. 
Six trombones is not a parade. Why not try Solo Cup, a Star Wars beverage? If mysterious bounty hunter Boba Fett was secretly made up of Boba tea, what would be part of his anatomy? Caramel balls, tapioca balls, ginger balls, or ice balls? Hope you like what you picked. Boba tea comes with little tasty tapioca balls. And once again, when a question lets you say the word balls a lot, you grab that opportunity by the tapioca. Hey, question. The algorithm demands your input. Would you like a smart question or a stupid question? Choose on your devices now. The choices have been made. And now, we'll fulfill our promise and deliver your content. La vie est un canard. Set. Here we have a stupid question. How do brain work? Maybe cells dividing and coming together? Neurons something something electricity? Atoms lose electrons or gain, I guess. Or, ah, uh, carbon gas exchange? I love this part. Brain work by neurons saying hi to other neurons using chemical or electric hellos. <clears throat> by which I mean thinking lightning. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Next, great moments in sports. Who is the first man to golf on the moon? Buzz, clubs can't handle me, Aldrin, Neil, birdie money, Armstrong, Edgar, turn down for putt, Mitchell, or Alan PGA, Shepard. Okay, what'd you pick? Honest mistake. Allow me. Apollo 14 astronaut Alan Shepard was the first man to play golf on the moon. Not to be confused with the Monstars, of course. The first cartoon aliens to ball on Earth. Na, 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 na. Up next... Our digital friendship. Uh, maybe I'll take a quick bathroom break. Binge Pipe recommends. Because you're a total horse person who hates horse movies where the main horse dies, we think you'll love War Horse, Lean on Pete, Black Beauty, or Far Lap. Okay, who chose what? <coughs> Were you thinking this one? Spoiler alert! Albert and Joey ride off into the sunset at the end of this movie. A total horse person. That's a centaur, right? Oh, here's a good one. With her spoon or without her spoon? 
I keep misremembering the title of HBO's Big Little Lies. Which of these wrong titles most accurately describes the real title? Alliterative slander, onomatopoeia distortion, palindrome perjury, or oxymoronic deceit? Let's see who got it. Forwards or backwards, you're still wrong. The correct answer is... Big and little are contradictory terms, but in the title Big Little Lies, they describe the same thing, making it an oxymoron. Other popular oxymorons include Jumbo Shrimp and Charming Trivia Show Host. What? Wh which writer wrote that? That it's time to fire CJ. <laughs> made it to the it oh i'm sorry i was hosting the game how stupid of me here's your clue alliterative answers you know what alliteration is right good luck Player one's got it! Wow, player one, that was so bad, and yet you're being celebrated. What are you, the Zack Snyder of trivia? And yet, compared to the competition, I might as well just congratulate you for remembering to breathe. I'm just glad the suffering is over, because honestly... You don't know Jack! The design for this binge pipe menu screen came to us in a dream. Binge Pipe's menu Here at Binge Pipe, we realize we're not the biggest streaming service, but we are the one you're stuck engaging with at the moment. So maybe we can all just take a minute and get over ourselves. Binge Pipe isn't any more impressed by you than you are by it. I had a great time on our date tonight. You want to come inside and watch something? I know what that means. I've got Binge Pipe. The only streaming service better than casual sex? The very same. The following Binge Pipe programming is brought to you by Liquidirt. Liquidirt. Tastes like mud. 
bears versus more bears. We hired too many bears and not enough other types of animals. This is a very interesting wine because if you look at the label, you can see the cause and date of your death. Wait, oh my god, this Chinese takeout place, this isn't a normal restaurant. Look at the roof. It used to be a pizza hut. It used to be a pizza hut. Mark, I've never loved someone as much as you. The control group wasn't even close. You can play as an audience member and have an impact on the game. Like someone who objects at a wedding. Imagine a world. My god, the specimen. It's growing out of control. Where scientists go too far. Should we go in? No, seal the door. But still know how to follow proper protocol. Okay, the chemical shower killed it. <sighs> that could have been bad. Yeah, but it wasn't. Lunch? Sure, we're just an island of talking horses. But can't we treat our island with respect? What? Were you all raised in a barn? <laughs> you were? All of you? While we wait for players to join, why not pour yourself your favorite drink and hold it in front of the screen so that we can see if our targeted advertisement You've tried other menu screens. Now enjoy the best. Binge Pipes.